We just got new weapons with very interesting tracer effects on them here in Modern Warfare 2 and a vehicle skin with tracers as well. This coming in the tracer pack, Dr. Kushlaw bundle. This has green slash bud tracers and smoke puff elimination effects. Can't wait to try those out. The first thing we get in this bundle might be even more interesting though. It is this operator skin, which appears to be animated, has a bunch of stuff going on. We will see that in third person in game. Then we've got the vaporizer for the cast off 762. A lot of different stuff going on here. We'll have to make sure to test out all those different effects. This is pro tune for recoil control aiming idle stability and aim down sight speed then we've got the dank hit for the kv broadside because yes we need more doof doof shotgun blueprints this one's tuned for damage range tighter pellet spread and aim down sight speed has the same tracers and effects as the cast off then we've got the bong rip finishing move and we're going to try all three forms of that that looks interesting just looking at the photo then we've got the high skies heavy chopper vehicle skin but what's interesting about this is it comes with a smoking tracer effect on it so we'll definitely have to see how that works out then we've got it's just a vase weapon charm just a vase then we've got this loading screen we've got this weapon sticker and then we've got this emblem by far the coolest things in this is going to be the operator skin the different weapons and the vehicle skin we're going to test all that out the operator skin is for gromsko on the spec group team and it's got this custom animation when you hover over them this is the operator skin in a third person view and it's nothing too crazy here's what other people see when you use this skin and this is one of the most interesting skins in the entire game so first off it glows you can see it gets brighter and darker with the flowers here on the top and then the face is just interesting it's got the green see-through mask with a, a burnt face underneath then you can see his respirator thing there is um not not conventional so overall just just a very very interesting looking skin to say the least when it comes to skins that light up people are usually afraid of the skins giving away your position and if we look at this one in a darker area it really doesn't give it away too much yet as we get closer we can see that it lights up a little bit here but it's not going to stick out like a sore thumb like other light up operators do here's the skin on the night map and yeah if you take off the night vision goggles it does stand out a lot now moving on to the weapons let's test out all the special effects these have starting off with the cast off 762 you can see there's tubes on the front of this that have a gas moving through it also the spring in the back is this glowing neon green that looks super sick as well let's see if it has any sort of custom bullets and are those wrapped does this have wrapped bullets in the well that's that's interesting yeah the bullets have been uh the bullets have been wrapped now let's test out the tracers shoot it up in the sky you can see they're kind of basic green tracers nothing too special here but if we shoot it at a wall yeah it's got flowers that pop off the side as like a almost like a sparkler effect and if you look up close you can see there's a burnt in flower wherever you shoot it with the impact effect so we can we can almost draw with this that is pretty crazy see if there's any sort of custom reticle this one did say it had a custom laser but that appears to not be true now moving on to the doof doof shotgun and this has some glowing stuff on the side that's pretty sick uh yeah it says high caliber that is fire we'll have to see how that looks in the dark oh and you can definitely tell that the shotgun shells in this have been uh completely wrapped as well for no no specific reason that is one of the coolest bullets i think we've seen on weapons here so now testing out the tracers with this obviously it's a shotgun you can't really see you can see it's got a green muzzle flash effect as well so if we take this and we shoot it against the wall yeah dude just just oh flowers all over the place and if we zoom in oh this one doesn't have the the burnt in flower effect like the other one did and once again this one doesn't have a laser as well but the oh the iron sights light up bro that is that is sick. Let's take these in a darker environment. We are going to test out the death effects these weapons have when you take down enemies, but we're going to wait till we move on to MP to test that out. Dude, this thing is super sick in the dark. I wonder if that's going to show up when you put camos on this. Test out the tracers in the dark. Also test out the cast off 762. Oh, you can, it's almost like you can see through the back of it. You can really see that spring in the back. This one, once again, has some light up stuff to it. Also, the iron sights do light up. So if you take off the scope of this, you'll see those better. Okay, so yeah, the iron sights do light up, but I'm not sure I'd recommend these. The iron sights on this blueprint are, um... You might want to rock with the red dot sight. You cannot see anything with these iron sights, bro. These are the clunkiest iron sights I've ever... They glow, but yeah, keep, keep, keep the red dot sight on this blueprint. Trust me on that one. Now let's take these weapons in the glowy room to see just how ridiculous they get. And oh my, this thing looks like a full-on nuclear reactor. Whole leak. I don't know what it is about this room, but if you take anything that glows in this room, it just amplifies it times a million. Imagine camping in this room and you see someone and trying to shoot them. Bro, what are, what are you going to... You ain't seeing anything trying to shoot with this in here. Now let's try it with the 762. And yeah, this one glows. It's just not as ridiculous. This one's got a little bit. Honestly, it looks really clean with that glowing spring back there. There's the iron sights. But this, 
I, bro, you can't see anything. I'm holding a glow stick right now. Here's the weapons and tracers on the night map with no night vision goggles. The glow is super bright and vibrant. The tracers are extremely noticeable. Now for the shotgun. And bro, this one, once again, just extremely light up. And then there's the tracers on it. Now for the mastery camos on these blueprints, starting off with gold. And it does cover up quite a bit of this stuff on it, but you can still see the glowy spring in the back. You can still see the tubes, although they get covered up a little bit as well. Here it is on the doof doof shotgun. And yes, you get to see that high caliber, all the glowy parts. Ooh, platinum looks really clean on this. You can see all the accent flowers on the side and on the magazine. They're just engraved in there. And the green's way more noticeable with the glow. This... This is a pretty fire way to rock it. Then here it is on the Doof Doof shotgun. Dude, the green just goes really well with that platinum. Let's look down in the dark. Yeah, I don't know. I like this a lot. Wait, does the camo affect the smoke that's in the tubes as well? The tubes now look like they have polyatomic moving around on the inside. It's kind of dark, so it's not as noticeable now, but that looks like there's polyatomic smoke in there. Here is the Doof Doof shotgun with the polyatomic, and the green matches it really well. And I don't really like it too well with Orion. There's just too much going on, and it just, yeah, it's a little bit overload. Here it is on the Doof Doof shotgun same thing it's just too much bowing blossoms on it is an interesting combination you can actually see the flowers in the tube so yes the camo does affect the gas that moves through the tubes you can see little bits of pink in there moving around and those would normally be the petals so yeah that's 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 very interesting here it is on the doof doof shotgun solid camos also look really clean on these blueprints and it does change the color of the smoke as well you can tell with the white camo the smoke inside of there is white here it is on the doof doof shotgun once again looking clean now for the fun part let's test out the special effects these tracers have when you take down enemies with them. So it doesn't have a special hit marker. No, no special hit markers with these weapons. So when we take down an enemy, there should be an effect that plays. And yeah, you can't see it too well. But yeah, there's a, there's a little puff of smoke with a, uh, with a flower on the inside. Is it random? What about the shotgun if we just... Boom, baby. Now in a darker environment. Yeah, you can see that there. Does anything show on the ground when you take them out? Sometimes you'll have bundles that... Nope, no special stuff. So yeah, the only special thing about this is wherever you kill them out, there's going to be a puff of smoke and a leaf in the middle. Here's the charm and sticker that comes in this bundle. Nothing too crazy. Now for all three different versions of the bong rip finishing move, starting with an operator that's standing up. <laughs> Okay, so this is another finishing move with custom audio. Now for an enemy who's prone. Ooh, okay, that's pretty sick. And it's got different audio for all of them. Now for bleeding out. Ooh, okay, I love finishing moves with custom music. And this one's pretty crazy. This is pretty much right up there with the Shredder finishing move, which I like that one a lot. But out of all three of the different variations, the prone has to be my favorite, bro. Bro smokes them out. All right, come on, hurry. Get in the heavy chopper before anyone else does. I'm excited to see how this works because now we can use these in DMZ and Warzone. So this is supposed to have a custom smoke effect. Does it when you use the flare? It said it had a custom effect. I don't really see it. Oh, in the ins. Oh my, yeah. Uh, 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 someone else needs to fly this. I, <laughs> uh, I see where the custom smoke effect is. You straight up hotbox the entire heli. That is not at all what I expected. Oh my, this has to be one of the craziest customizations and vehicles we've ever seen in COD. No joke. When you're flying this helicopter around, um, you can't really see it from the outside, but all of your passengers on the inside are definitely going to know what's up. And I, I'm, I'm excited we got a vehicle skin for this because this is now usable in DMZ and in Warzone. And uh, yeah, my, my passengers in my uh, heavy chopper are going to be having a wonderful time in this bad boy. That is, I, that is not at all what I thought it meant. Honestly, I wonder if this makes this hard. What the? Bro, what? Hello? Is the driver hotboxing it too? What? <laughs> No one else take my heli. No one else take my heli. This is mine. Come on. Come on. When they said this had a custom smoke effect, I legitimately just thought it was going to be a smoke trail in the back. You know, something kind of basic, nothing too extreme. But this is way cooler than what I thought it was going to be. But, uh, is someone piling? All right. All I got to do is get in it. It applies the skin and then someone else can drive it. And then I can stay back in the hot box here, baby. Let's go. Ah, uh, look, the enemy team's got a helicopter too. But bro, it's nowhere near as cool as ours. Oh, look at that. Oh, you... Yep, they're not having near as much fun as us. No way. You can clearly tell what's going on from on the floor. Pretty much everyone in this lobby looking at that helicopter is going to know exactly what skin that is and what's going in up there. It's not just something you notice from the inside. I cannot wait to see people using this in Warzone and in DMZ. And you just look up in the sky and you can 
you can clearly see what's going on up there. Now for one of the most important things to test. Let's see what happens when we start taking the attachments off of these weapons. So go ahead. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you like the default attachments on this AK because, um... Yeah, it doesn't look near as good. It is going to keep the tracers. The only way you're going to get rid of the tracers on this weapon is if you change the ammunition type, that's going to remove it. And sadly, since this doesn't have an ammunition type, that means you cannot use these tracers on any other weapons like you can with some other bundles. These tracers will only work on this AK. Now let's do the same thing for the shotgun blueprint here. If we go ahead and start removing all the attachments. Oh man, this one, this one isn't, uh, yeah, you might want to run a green camo on these if you're taking off the default attachments on these. Luckily, the attachments on these are pretty good to begin with. Uh, same thing. You're going to keep all the tracers on this shotgun. The only way you're going to lose the tracers is if you put on an ammo type. The second you put on an ammo type, uh, all of the tracers on this weapon are going to go away. This also means you can't put these tracers on other weapons. You can use these other attachments. The AK had kind of a cool optic sight on here, so you could use that on another weapon if you wanted to. Now for Warzone slash DMZ testing. Let's see if these tracers and elimination effects work here in DMZ slash Warzone. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So yes, there's the impact effects working perfectly fine. Now for the real question, if we take down a bot, yes, we still get the smoke and the little puff effect there. And let's try it with the shotgun, even if it works for, yeah, it, it's going to work for this as well. There we go. So if you're taking out bots slash AI here in DMZ or Warzone, you're going to get the same effects. And with that, if I had to rate this bundle, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Love the tracers, love the effects, love the vehicle skin. Did not expect that at all when I saw that. So overall, the ranking for this bundle, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. There's a lot of stuff you get with this. You get a pretty cool looking operator skin, two blueprints with pretty cool looking tracers, pretty cool effects, all that stuff. But that's just my opinion on it, boys. Make sure to leave me yours down below. If you want to see any more bundle reviews like this in the future, we cover everything in the bundle in full detail. That way you know what you get before you spend any of your money. Make sure to unlock that sub button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.